Lecture 1 and 2. What's tourism leakage? When traveling overseas, we have a direct impact on destinations and local communities. Developing nations use tourism to support economies and create local jobs, as well as preserve the natural environment through conservation holidays. To put it simply, tourism leakage is the money spent by tourists leaving a destination with a big chunk of it going into the hands of foreign-owned companies, such as tour operators, airlines, or hotels. It leaks out. According to a study, such tourism leakage is estimated to amount to about 70% of all money spent by tourists in Thailand, with estimates ranging from 80% in the Caribbean to 40% in India. Then how to prevent tourism leakage? The UN report suggests that countries could put in place online travel platforms that take a commission of 15 to 18 percent of the price of a hotel room or 3 to 4 percent of airfares. This means that when we use online travel platforms such as Booking.com or Trip.com, we are contributing to building such leakages. As for travelers, it is important to map where our money is going. We can perhaps be more adventurous by immersing ourselves in local facilities when choosing a place to stay, eat, and explore. This could give local people collective power, which can extend the environment of tourism development to better wages, and so on. The good news is that we are starting to witness a paradigm shift. In the wake of sustainable tourism, whether it's a fly-free travel or conservation vacations, individual travelers are taking more responsibility in supporting local communities or helping preserve the biodiversity within it. So this is the end of Lecture 1 and 2. Good luck with your studying.